as fighting escalates between government troops and rebels in eastern Ukraine despite the February ceasefire, Euronews met with a captured Russian officer who explains how he was recruited to assist the separatists on Ukrainian territory. Vladimir Starkov was arrested on July the 25th with a truck full of ammunition at a Berezova checkpoint. He was going from Donetsk to the village of Yasny in rebel-held territory but lost his way and was intercepted by a Ukrainian border patrol. Euronews met him in the detention centre in Kiev, where he was sent after his arrest. At the time of detention, I was a regular serviceman in the armed forces of the Russian Federation with the rank of major. I was chief of missile and artillery weapons service in the military unit in the Russian city of Novochokask. Questioned by the Ukrainian Security Service, he said that around 2,000 Russian servicemen are currently deployed in eastern Ukraine. Many of them did not volunteer, just like Stakov. When he was ordered to move to the Rostov region bordering Ukraine, little did he know he would serve in eastern Ukraine. They gathered us in a conference room and announced our positions would be the same as promised, but we should do our military service in Ukraine in the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics. It was forbidden to inform our relatives about this. Stokhov was in charge of weapons accountability. When he was captured, he was travelling with fake ID and ammunition he was supposed to deliver to separatists. These kinds of weapons aren't produced in Ukraine, and here we can see the document proving it's the property of a Russian military unit. After his arrest, Starkov tried to call his family, but his calls didn't go through. Euronews' attempts to reach Starkov's wife, Larissa, had the same result. Sorry, this type of call cannot be set up. The Russian Defense Ministry and Russian Embassy in Kiev ignored Euronews' request to comment on Starkov's identity. Russia has always denied sending its military personnel to fight in Ukraine. When two other Russian servicemen were arrested last May, Moscow said they'd previously quit the army. Starkov is being charged with terrorism.